recently we had a discussion around, um, okay, we had a topic on the gaps and opportunities for uh, scientists, technologists, and innovators um, in Africa, and we had uh, two different speakers, one for Philips, and one who's worked um, in the NGO sector around uh, promoting um, STEM uh, fields and just helping people to, uh, young people to get into the STEM fields. Arts, uh, music, or, or pictures, or things like that are very good forms of commun communicating science. So we feel that we cannot detach science from art. And really our goal and agenda is to promote science, technology, and innovation on the continent. We have three mandates. One is to recognize excellence, usually not for youth, but for people that have excelled in science on the continent and in other parts of the world. A lot of diplomats and leaders know that in order to address these magnanimous problems, we have to work with scientists and engineers. We have to be able to talk to each other. There's just no way around it. Science and technology that knows no boundaries. And the relationships and networks that are formed also help support this work and can really pr produce transformational results. I read somewhere that in Africa, breast cancer is killing uh, more, is killing women more than malaria and another disease combined. So, do you think those statistics are going lower, or do you think it's getting worse? Uh, uh, statistically, uh, breast cancer is on the increase right now as a the malaria is highest on the children, but actually in women, breast cancer is actually really, really on the increase.